for these events, we do uh, challenges in conjunction with our partner, Innocentive. So we did an Innocentive Smart Systems Challenge in the run-up to this event. And uh, the idea was that we asked people to suggest uh, a way that they could um, improve on a utility uh, or improve on some aspect of city life uh, to make life better for people. Um, and the winner is a guy called Yuri, but he couldn't get here today for visa reasons. So instead, we've had to make a video. Um, he's uh, suggesting how things might be improved in his city, which is Kiev in Ukraine. Uh, so we're going to show you the video because he can't be here in person. So uh, let's hear from Yuri vicariously. My name is Yuri Gordienko, and I am senior scientist at Kurdyumov Institute for Metal Physics of the National Academy of Science of Ukraine. There, I obtained my PhD doctorate degree in Doctor of Science degree in physics and mathematics. Now, I am team leader in international research and development project DGISCO of European Union FP7 program. Its aim to use effectively idle container resources donated by volunteers, namely to connect computing grids, desktop grids and service grids in International Desktop Grid Federation IGGF. They have developed application for investigation of city population dynamics and sustainable growth. Now, the idea of this proposal is to go from volunteer computing to volunteer scientific measurements and my solution to the economist in incentive smart city challenge is dedicated to measurements and mapping the vehicle exhaust. They are one of the most dangerous sources of air pollution in cities, but despite the global efforts made, it's very difficult to assess them. The idea of this solution is to make real-time estimations of the actual impact of vehicle emissions on the city environment with updated online database of air quality data. Instant measurements, hundreds of thousands of vehicle emissions were performed using portable household sensor of carbon monoxide with USB logger and locations were determined by using GPS navigator of usual smartphone and after the synchronization, the interactive online virtual pollution map was constructed to show the uh, visualization of the data in the public domain in Internet. I live in the city of Kiev near Chernobyl zone, contaminated by radioactive wasting. In student time, I took part in measurements with special distribution in city neighborhood. What is common between usual vehicle exhaust and Chernobyl disaster? Firstly, heterogeneity of spatial distribution of pollution. And secondly, unknown small dose of pollution accumulated by a single person. Because exhaust gases like carbon and nitrogen monoxides do not have smell, taste and color. To check the idea, the pilot project My Green City was implemented now in my native city of Kyiv to check its technical feasibility. Because Kyiv is especially relevant, because Kyiv is the dirtiest capital in Europe by Green City Index by Siemens. And I'm hoping that this solution can be implemented not only in Kyiv but around the world, because it can help municipal authorities in better global city traffic planning and city dwellers in better personal planning of a healthy behavior in city. In practice, this idea can be enhanced in any big city by installation of various chip sensors, near available traffic web cameras, an integrated pollution map, like usual traffic jam map, could be created to explore various conditions, the seasons, rush hours, weather, by data processing, using available computing infrastructure. The most important aspect is social. Public awareness of air pollution can be highly increased, and ordinary volunteers like me and my friends in Boeing, the GISCO projects, IDJF Federation, can influence society and encourage more effective urban planning with openly assessed information.